Class ended early, so I'm headed to Sykes. and most of it was just some multiple choice that I got wrong but I wrote like a bunch of short answers that I actually did get right but got that back today put my book away so I'm just kind of tidying up some stuff that I left a mess when I left in a rush this morning and oh found my hair clip I was looking for this great this is my little outfit for work today so I have a new resolution to fill on this calendar before the month actually starts. So I did a little rough draft in black, but I finally got my um, expo markers from home while I was there this weekend. So I can finally make my calendar nice and pretty, which is what I'm going to do right now. All right, let's do it. Here is the finished product. Kind of finished. I have some more stuff to add later, but I'm running late. Alright guys, so I just got in my car and I'm going to head to work. It's about a seven minute drive. It's actually really nice out. It's like 50 degrees maybe a little bit cooler but it feels really good and I'm excited today's only my second day in case you guys can tell it is a daycare center <laughs> so um I'm not exactly changing up my life theme of only working with children but um yeah I'm headed over there right now I will say that my class ended early today because unfortunately my professor had an accident and she's also like extremely pregnant so um she's out for the rest of the semester so I got a brand new professor for my social psych class and she's very very cool but um it was so unexpected that she didn't really have any material to teach us today she was basically just giving us the news introducing herself so that's what that class was and then after that I just ran to uh the Chick-fil-a on campus for the first time ever and I ordered a little something it's really cool like you basically order it like through Grubhub and then you just check in and like pick up your food it's like so easy but um, I did that for the first time. It was like real, really nice to be able to do that. And then um, I headed to my second class, which is politics and diversity. And it was actually a pretty interesting lecture. I enjoyed it. And yeah, then I just headed home after. So I really only had about 40 minutes or so in between um, having to leave for work, but I'm gonna go now. Otherwise I'm going to be late. Headed back home, y'all. Now I have literally like an hour before I have to leave for Bible study. All right, y'all, I just finished editing this entire video with literally perfect timing because it is 7.10 and I don't have to leave for about 10 minutes. What is up, guys? I just got back from Bible study and let me just say, I had such a grand old time. Like literally the Bible study went from like 7.30 to literally like 10 o'clock, like 9.45. And it was 
so refreshing like i literally can't even put it in words we were basically talking about like um it's first thessalonians chapter four i believe and we we're basically talking about like keeping your bodies as like a pure and holy sacrifice like unto the lord and um not defiling yourself with sexual sin and like not defiling yourself with other sins and it was just so wholesome like literally just two hours basically of good conversation and just like laughter and joy and I just I really love these Tuesday night bible studies I will see you guys tomorrow morning <laughs> Welcome to my Wednesday. Today's Wednesday already. Wow, this week is going by so fast. But um, today's Wednesday and I just got done my first class and only class of the day. It was theories of crime and delinquency and that's from like 10 to 10.50 um, and it's three days a week. So it's such an easy class to just like go to and sit for a little bit and take notes and then leave. I also have work today from one o'clock to six o'clock. I am not totally sure. I originally thought I was going in at 12, but then I looked at the schedule again and it said one. So I'm going in at one o'clock. It's only 12.06 right now. Right here. Hey, what's up guys? I just got in from work and I'm about to do a very quick tidy session. Hey guys, so I've been laying in bed for like two hours now, but I finished. First of all, I'm wheezing. <sighs> I'm not sick. I just have this like cough every time I lay down for a long time. And it's like cold. My window's open. So whenever I'm like laying down, this cough just like comes out of nowhere. But um, it is currently 10 o'clock. I just finished editing a YouTube video and I have it uploaded and scheduled to go up tomorrow. And I'm also planning some new YouTube videos for the rest of the month. I basically closed all my rings today, so I almost feel like I got enough exercise in.
What is up guys? I'm looking a little bit messy, only because my hair is back, but I am headed to work right now. I just got back from class like a half hour ago and um, I did some dishes, I did my laundry, I put my laundry into the wash and I made myself a little peanut butter and jelly sandwich and I've been listening to the What We Said podcast and now I am headed to work. What is up guys and welcome to the start of my evening. I just got in from work like 10 minutes ago. I've been on the phone with my sister and um, I am absolutely starving and all I have to eat tonight, tonight my options are rice or ramen. <sighs> I'm not too thrilled about it and I also don't feel like going downstairs but I literally feel like I'm gonna pass out if I don't eat so I'm gonna go right now. Work today was great. I only worked like three hours. It always goes by so fast. And um, I got to try a new age group today, which is probably my favorite out of all of them. Um, there are three year olds going on to four. I love them so much. So I've really been loving the job. It's only my fourth day on the job and I'm, I'm getting the hang of things. So I've been sitting here watching Colonel Mines, but I'm getting a little bit of homework done. I just did about half of this assignment and about half of this one this is actually for extra credit this i'm probably going to do either late tonight or tomorrow morning and this i'm definitely going to do tomorrow afternoon and i just this is a way that i like to keep myself organized i just have all my assignments that are due open in tabs so i don't forget about them when i open my laptop tomorrow and then i just have um one class in the morning late for class again but i have a coffee headed to work right now um my mom just sent me some money so i'm gonna go get lunch um on my way there because i passed mcdonald's and i'm about a half hour early so i'm gonna go there sorry i hate vlogging with my glasses on but i'm gonna go get something to eat and then i work from one to six today at like one to five forty-five, depending on if i have to stay and clean and then my besties are coming over tonight i'm so excited my besties are going to come over tonight and we're going to have a fun girls weekend. So I'll probably vlog a little bit tonight and some tomorrow morning too. And I'm so excited. I've been prepping. I did like a big old cleaning spree yesterday and I'm just really excited. I'm also going to try to make it to work today with no GPS. You heard me. So I'm just going to start driving now and hope that I can make it with no GPS. My motto these days is really just fake as you make it but not like the essential like what you would think of fake as you make it like just act as if which is actually a psychological concept acting as if that's um a counseling strategy but um it's almost like physically removing the fear from your mind it's almost like you just have to think about it as reaching into a bucket and pulling something out like I don't just like, it's not like I'm trying to fake feeling confident. Like for example, my outfit today, I'm so self-conscious about it because I feel like I look stupid and I had to, um, I had to like tie up my sweatpants so that they fit better. So I'm a little bit self-conscious about that. But if I walk around feeling self-conscious, it's the only person that's going to bother all day is me. So I made a decision to literally go into my mind and completely remove that thought and that 
self-consciousness and that fear of, you know, being judged or feeling stupid or whatever. And I decided I'm going to feel confident and I'm not going to let that control me. Now, do I turn left here? That's such a good question because I don't know. Anyway, that's my little spiel for today because I'm like sick and tired of feeling like so anxious all the time. And not to say that like that that's a cure for anxiety, but it's definitely, it's literally in the Bible, like take captive every thought that intrudes. So if you are a psychology major, you know a little bit about psych, there's like intrusive thoughts and like we are not powerless to those thoughts. We don't have to be subject to them. And I'm trying, especially ever since I started working, it's been a lot easier for me because I don't have time to just sit around and think about like, like the things that are difficult in my life or the things that I want to change in my life. I'm just kind of doing it instead of like worrying. So I don't really have time for that. But like at the same time, I still have like these intrusive thoughts, like right like in the morning when I wake up that like literally try to keep me paralyzed and keep me from waking up in the morning but um or from getting up in the morning I should say but I've kind of been realizing and from that bible study I went to on Tuesday we also talked about this I almost just got in a car accident but um we also talked about this like like these sinful thoughts that just pervade our minds our minds and it's just becoming more apparent to me that if you let it it'll take over like it's if you give an intrusive thought a an inch it'll take a mile and more and it'll even take your mind completely so it's important to remember like literally something as dumb as like your outfit like no I put this outfit on all my clothes are dirty and this is what I have to wear today and I'm gonna feel confident in it the Bible says those who are faithful in the little things uh, they will be entrusted like with more and it's the same thing like if you let the little things penetrate into your mind and steal your joy and steal your happiness then what are the big things going to do to you you know so this week has been like kind of refreshing for me in the sense that i've been trying to take like a, a couple steps nothing crazy but steps to like um take captive my thoughts and and really like um, let go of things that have been bothering me or things that like my brain wants to obsess about and worry about and literally just Give it to God and decide like that thought is not gonna run my day that thought is not gonna run my my life Or my morning or my night you gotta start reaching into your the brain bucket Start throwing things out. All right. I've been talking for too long. I'm about to pull into the McDonald's Hi, can I please have a 10 piece nugget meal? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling nervous. trying to eat and then they will literally not leave me alone or give me any personal space whatsoever but yeah i just made some peanut butter ow that hurt some peanut butter jelly and some yogurt with granola and i guess finley's gonna do some homework with me i just finished my entire set of assignments for this class it's due at 12 midnight it's me and I am popping in to close out this week in my life um I didn't vlog that much yesterday but you guys saw like we went to a bunch of different places in 
town right by my house and it was just so much fun like i literally loved those girls so much and it was so nice to hang out with them and to hang out with like some familiar faces thank you guys so much for tuning into this week in my life it's like the first one i've done for a really long time and i have to admit i really enjoyed editing it and i'm just so glad you guys came along for the ride i love you all so much but god loves you more and i will see you in the next video Mwah. bye